update successful. Okay, so I think I need to close DOSBox and then reopen DOSBox so I can load a different thing. There we go. Quick little derp thing to do for a little while before we finish. Hey, as long as it's not monster high. Ah, uh, man. Them chip tunes. I fucking passed out last night about 1.30. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I'm watching Red Fox's stream. Pilgrim Quest. Hmm, this should I, be interesting. I have no explanation for how this game works whatsoever. Oh, this should be great. In late 1620, 66 days after sailing from southern England, the pilgrims meet and agree, met and agreed to the principles for governing their infant colony and wrote the Mayflower Compact. It is known as the birth of constitutional liberty. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Later, the document disappeared. Although we know its contents, the original compact has never been found. Yes, we know what this thing that has never been found said. <laughs> Great storytelling there, guys. Some days before the voyage. Let's see. Actions. Let's see. Buy provisions. Hey, at least it's not a World War II game. I like World War II games. Oh, um... Oh, nice! It's 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 basically a text-based adventure game, except with uh, a couple of pictures. It's a very very early game. This should be derply fun. Okay, eight days before the Pilgrim set sail, negotiations with London backers have taken longer than expected. Sailing season for the North Atlantic has passed. Preparations are not yet complete. The game begins. <laughs> um. I can't help but notice you didn't buy any food. I do have food. I, I'm looking right here. These are the, the, the things with the numbers are what I already have. Okay. I'm in debt twenty eight nineteen and sixty cents. My limit is thirty eight hundred. Um I, I somehow I don't think debt or money's gonna matter in this game when we're gonna be spending it all on the ocean. I can't get wampums. Yes, yes, I will be accountable if, if we didn't have enough shit. Alright, we need more meat. Yeah, I'll be accountable. I'll be dead next to you, but I'll be accountable. I'll take the blame right alongside you, dead buddy. Alright, more beer. Beer's gonna be like the only thing we can drink at this point. Well, yeah, because it's... <laughs> it's fucking 1620. If you don't drink beer, you're drinking the water and you're a dead man at walking at that point. The only way you could drink water is if you boiled it first. All right. Even then, it depended on what water source you got the water from. Sometimes boiling didn't help. Alright, we need more, more vials of medicine. As much vials as we can possibly afford. Um, let's get... More Why saws. the fuck would we want pumpkins? Building tools. Alright, we have reached max debt. Yay! No, no, we can get one can of beans. We have 40 cents. Screw it. We're sailing. At what, Plymouth, England, the badly leaking speedwell is abandoned and some discouraged pilgrims decide not to go. The rest board the already crowded Mayflower and make the best of the situation. <laughs> My anchor. It's a good thing I bought extra food. <laughs> ba -na 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 -na. Oh, wait, I actually, I actually get to steer the boat? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn it. This is, a, this is a target. We have a target of, uh, down. I was going to say, fuck it, we're going to Canada. <laughs> As your first mate, uh, please don't uh, immediately uh, drive us into the stones. Well, we have to hit Plymouth Rock. It's tradition. Can can we please not? No, no. As 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 a Massachusetts-born native, we have to hit Plymouth Rock. It's tradition. Can we turn around and just head to Africa? Da, 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 da. Okay, fine, right. Although I don't think the game will let us. All right. <laughs> Crossing the Atlantic may prove eventful. There is a fearsome storm. Passengers and crew suffers. The ship is tossed about. Leaks occur, and everyone bails. Ocean water may flow and encounters many storms, and often is on the verge of sinking. No shit. Well, thank you for that historical bit of... This is one of those, uh, half-assed, uh, actually educational games, isn't it? Bail! Bail! Okay, okay cool. I can actually bail water manually. <laughs> I have to use up and down arrow to bail, to bail left and right to steer. We're fucked, we're fucked, we're really fucked. I see that blue line on the side is the water going into your ship. Yeah, I think we're gonna miss the mark. Fears of antic storms and poor seamanship yeah. have driven your ship onto the rocky shores of the New World. You have wrecked the Mayflower. The magic of time window will return you to England for another chance to regain your lost honor. <laughs> Apparently, apparently, I can't turn and head north. So, yeah, take from that what you will. Well, that was interesting. All right, so we're gonna have to do this manually. We're, we can only we can only really go south. So don't go south unless you absolutely have to. Yes, yes, crossing the Atlantic, many storms. Sailing, sailing, on the open trail. You went north, you lying fucking bastard. No, I went, I, I went north because north's the, the only way to avoid going too far south at the beginning. I, I have to hit that glowing red dot. And if I miss it, we crash. North, damn you. North, let's I go hit to it. New York. <laughs> Land ho, the Mayflower rise at Cape Cod Harbor. That night, the Mayflower Compact is signed by 41 men who represent the 101 pilgrims on board. Long voyage behind them, pilgrims face a bleak and wintry landscape. They must settle somewhere along this unfamiliar coast. They meet and pray. I like, I like how... how there's a big, giant, red and white X. That just tells you, go here, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, on the ocean. Yeah. I know. It just, this, is this giant thing in the ocean says, this is what you're aiming for. Go here, stupid. November 11th, his historic uh, arrival day, the Mayflower. It's called Harvard. You may or may not have arrived by this date. Um, thank you. You're better than history. Oh yeah, it's November 13th. I I am slightly worse than history. Oh fuck. By by two days. Uh, it is 1620 in wintry. You must search for a permanent colony site. The Mayflower must soon return to England. Many pilgrims are sick and the need for shelter is urgent. Consider your choices carefully. A search party will take the shallop, leaving the Mayflower at anchor in Cape Cod Harbor. Search uh, well. Uh, no. Early pioneers broke the ship apart and used it to build the shelter. Apparently we have another ship, which is what we're keeping. Whatever. Wait, what? Unexpected. Unexpected. Oh god, what am I doing? Aiming for this thing. 
Explore the site, steer. And it's, it tells you this as you immediately start taking off. Cornhill, Cold Harbor. Juniper trees grow along the sandy coast. Five or six Indians, you discover a freshwater spring and a cache of buried corn. God damn, this looks derp. Okay, what can I do about it? What can I do about it? Game? Game? Aha. That it's got an it's got access to a great harbor, great fresh water, little Indians, a bunch of timber, and great fishing. Why the fuck can't we just stay here? Well, we're scouting. We're scouting the area around us. Fuck! <laughs> Woo, that was close. Captain, have you been in the mood again? <laughs> Shut up, I don't know where we're going. Captain, do we need to <laughs> throw you overboard for the safety of the rest of us? Damn it, this is my ship and I'll make love to this rudder on that long. <laughs> Alright, the party Damn lands it, north Captain. of where Indians are seen cutting fish. The soil's too sandy for cultivation, you find an Indian barrel ground. Stay, in other words, stay the fuck away. I'm cool with avoiding Indian barrel grounds. And this time I'm going to be ready for the sudden. There we go. Haha. I was ready for it. The, the hunting level is low. The fishing's low. There's no timber. There's high Indians. No fresh water and nothing for a harbor. Yeah. How about we stay the fuck away? Where are you? The party camps overnight. At dawn, Indians attack with bows and arrows. Your musket fire drives them off. See, the other two places they were chill. This place they're just like fucking get off our beach. Uh, this one also, this one has good hunting, though. You pale-faced devil, I, run away. I honestly did not pay attention to the last two places. The last one sucked, I know that much. How much, how, the first place the was okay. The first one was pretty damn good. It uh, actually had a, the only thing it didn't have was hunting. It had great fishing, great timber, great fresh water, and a great place for a harbor. Fair enough. The last one had low everything. This one has pretty low <laughs> Compared to the last, the first one. Yeah. The Indian attack one is the one I'm talking about. It wasn't very good. Yeah, yeah. the first one was was all right. I guess is the middle one's gonna be pretty good, and the one on the far end. Oh, that middle one looks like a that that one and the far end one look like great harbors. In fact, I think I know where in Cape Cod those are. We have to go Whoa! to each and every one of them. Before we can pick a site, yes. Oh yeah, this is Barnstable. Yeah, this is great. Good harbor for the shallop. I meant salt marshes and no sign of Indians. The exploring party failed to visit the site. What? Well, look at those values, though. That's great. It's got great hunting, max fishing, max timber, max fresh water. Good harbor. The the potential for Indians is high, but... We can always trade with them. I'll make peace yeah. with the natives. And the harbor's pretty good on the Barnstable. I think that would yeah, be a Bar great I, option. I've been to Barnstable. Barnstable actually has a really nice harbor. Yeah, I think that would be a good option. The first one of Barn... If you actually get the pick, I'd say either the first one or Barnstable. Well, Barnstable's got an actual proper harbor. Um, Sandwich. Sandwich is, is nice, but they don't really have much of a harbor. Uh, the first one didn't have good hunting, so... Keep that in mind. Large soils fertile, large stand of trees. Pilgrims might have settled here had they stopped. So we're at, let's see, we're at Sandwich now. Yep. Eh, fishing is bad, timber's not that great. Fresh water's good. It's got great hunting. Back up. Like I was giving me like the, the historical data about. Oh, this isn't actually where they settled. They kept going. Oh, can I pick that? Honestly, I would pick the middle one. Watch right it automatically there. pick the last place I go for some stupid reason. Yeah, I bet you it does. But you know, fair enough. 
Last place is gonna be good. That looks like it has an ice harbor. Wow. So did the lightning kill you all? No. We we landed an actual proper Plymouth, and Plymouth is amazing. Above the fine harbor is a hill suitable for a fort. The land is cleared for planting, and a brook runs under the hillside. No Indians appear. Oh, that, yeah, that's got some I great mean, the, values the, for hunting. The fishing and timber is kind of meh, but that's that's good. But, but then again, this is a historical learning game. You likely don't really get a uh, choice. Return to the ship and report your findings. Sailing through the lightning, sailing through the lightning, hoping yeah, that I Yeah, because it's a good idea to go straight through. Yep. Oh, God damn! it's December. With we, a little fucking It's boat. December. This is horrible news. How the fuck can you actually be floating through this? Shouldn't it be almost solid ice right now? No. The harbor doesn't freeze. Okay. The ocean does not freeze this, um, this far south. You need to be, like... Up northern oh, okay. Canada before water starts, ocean water starts to freeze. Otherwise, the salt keeps melting it. No, I'm more worried about the the, the shore and the fresh water, because the uh, the rivers and streams and shit, oh, those will freeze right over. I mean, granted, true winter doesn't start till late January, and it usually only goes through to the end of February. But it's soon. Damn cold. You must decide where to build a settlement. Let's see if you actually get a choice. Oh, and it actually gives us back the thing. So Cornhill was the first place we went. Uh, Cornhill was pretty good, except it had shit hunting. I see that. The next East two Ham were pretty sucked. bad. First encounter was alright. Barnstable was good. Sandwich. Plymouth. Wow. Uh, Plymouth is way better than Barnstable. I wonder why. It's actually where they fucking went. I know. The only thing, though, the fishing and the timber is a lot better at Barnstable. Honestly, I'd say go against history and go to Barnstable. Uh, it's more balanced. But the har oh, that harbor is way nice, though. That means we're going to have more access to the ships year-round. More shelter from the storms. There's more fresh water at Plymouth. Better hunting. I think just go to Plymouth. I'm comparing. I actually want to have an informed decision. I mean, I am going to Plymouth, but yes. Yes, I want this site. I want an informed decision. I want to actually pretend I'm taking veritables into effect. I was. I just decided that they did, they just stacked the deck against Plymouth. As, as, as they being did. The That's best where choice. they want you to go. Well, actually, Plymouth actually historically is probably the, be the, the best place that could have settled. Yeah. All right. By this date, the shallop returns to the Mayflower. If you have, if you visit no sites or did not make it back by now, time window will whisk you through time to resail the shallop. Well, you know what? Don't have to because I am here. You and the pilgrim disembark. Took too, literally, if you take too long, you, it's a game over. If you take too long, the game sends you back to the night last, to the beginning of the step. <laughs> It keeps resetting the, the, the part you're at until you get it at least as good, if not better, than the his history. You and the pilgrims disembark to begin building the plantation. Almost half the pilgrims are too ill to work. Scurvy is common, caused by lack of fresh vegetables or fruit during the long voyage. Some pilgrims are close to death as work begins. Many risk ammonia from exposure. It is one week before Christmas and snow falls along the coast. Mayflower Anchor is a mile and a half from shore, and the pilgrims must wade the last half mile on icy water. Your job is to build the colony, guard against Indian attack, find more food, and care for the sick. The survival of the pilgrims is in your hands. The task will not be easy. Alright. So, first order of business, attack all the Indians you can see and get them nice and mad. No! <laughs> okay. F2 is our medical report. We have 39 that got sick on board, 3 that got well, 2 that died, 34 that are sick now. Calories and water two are good. died? You lucky bastard. Only 2 people died, yeah. 
However, That's amazing. granted, I still have 34 sick people that are, are in danger of dying. All right, health isn't all that bad overall. Diet's okay. Exposure we need to work on. Colony report. We have 49 idle, 17 working, 100 in all. We have food for 293 days, shelter for 12 days. Zero houses, no common house, no stockade, no wells. So right now you have enough food to last till spring. That's all you really need. Yep, security report. Say everything is horrible. <laughs> We're fucked, Captain. Oh, God, give me more meat. Town records, debt, population, shelter, food. You owe 3800 You're in debt up to your eyeballs. Hours. Fortunately, it will take six months for anyone to come by to try to collect. Build common house. All right, let's put three at the common house. Let's set some of the cut trees. Fish, guard the town, hunt, saw the timber, sink well. And we only need one guy. Alright, we'll put a few people and build a stockade. Someone on nursing the sick. You guys build a band. Nah. Alright, we have six people idle, so let's go ahead and assign one more to nurse the sick one more guy to guarding extra hunter and a fisher let's keep the food going actually you know we're kind of good on food so let's, let's focus on farm homes well wow. Okay. Walk around. When will Captain Jones set sail for England? Oh, I can manually fish. Oh, I found the village of Massachusetts. Their numbers were reduced from 3,000 to 500 by the epidemic of 1616 to 17. Hey, I give gift of knives. I smoke on peace pipe. <laughs> People here many winters, we trap to live, land good for all. Is it we're smoking? Don't know. Get from trade with ship. <laughs> Didn't go it after last snow of long moon. <laughs> it tells me my score.
I can ask the natives to tell me my goddamn score. How am I doing? Englishman, he have 60 of a thousand. <laughs> have you seen our compact? I get to steer the log, whee! <laughs> I come back to see dirt. <laughs> oh, you missed the whole thing where I was smoking peace pipe with the natives. No, no, I came back just in time to see uh, the end of that. <laughs> First Christmas, the new colony goes almost unobserved, traditionally having ignored the holiday because in England, Christmas has become an excuse to eat, drink, and excess. Oh, these pilgrims aren't jaded in the slightest, now are they? Yeah, <laughs> they're like, they're, they're like, bastards. they're like, fuck Christmas, people eat too much on Christmas. Huh. Just be glad only part of the people who settled here were the purest bastards. Half of the rest were a lot more fucking liberal about this sort of thing. Okay, I've gone down the river from Middleborough. Do, do, wait, do I just do this all goddamn day until I stop? How, how does this work? What am I doing? Are you still on the log? I'm still on the log, and yes, it does look like he has no bottoms on, but he does. Oh god, those rocks are close. Who are- who else are you talking to? My fiance. Oh god, I hit oh, a rock. Okay. I assume that's what it was. I guess. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So this is one long-ass fucking river. Yeah, I gave up. We don't have the common house yet, really. Oh, your face! Come on, sink a damn well already. Oh, we only have eight people sick right now. You some lazy motherfuckers. You don't even have a well dug yet. Apparently not. Why are you not building homes? Build God, these people keep coming off their jobs like every day. I have to like keep reassigning them. I'm a lazy. You, I don't want to do it. Yeah, screw you guys. I'm, I'm walking around. I'm going back to England. Screw you guys. I'm going. When I come back here, you better have a fucking common house. I'm going home. It's not Lord Cat again. Gosh, shut fucking sheep cat that looks like Lord Cat. <laughs> Lord Cat had a ponytail. Ha ha ha, say something else, oh god. Um. Tell me about shipping goods. 
It'll cost us to load his ship with stuff. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. I haven't made any goods yet. I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go this way. I'm just gonna wander about aimlessly. have to build a village before you can fucking start farming. Colony report. I have four wells. Yay, you have water out the asshole. Now, about that common house. Yeah. Let's give you guys some knives. Can we not piss off the Indians, please? Build a wigwam to keep warm during long moons, okay. a fucking house to keep us warm during the during the night. Thanks. <laughs> I know, right? Thanks. Really, that was glorious information. Alright, well I found the people who supposedly know about our goddamn compact. He make me very happy. Because I give him a knife. He's happy I give him a knife. Is that all you gave him? Yeah. <laughs> did, did we just break the game? No. Now oh, damn it, you lazy fuckers. Build a goddamn stockade. Why are build, we building build a homes. stockade? Because it's for defense. Oh, I'm thinking of something entirely different. You're thinking of a prison stockade, not... No, I'm I'm thinking of the big wall of, of, of sharpened logs that goes around your, your fucking settlement so the natives don't come and murder you in your sleep. Yeah. Do you at least have a single common house now? No. Lazy motherfucker. I know, these fuckers are so lazy. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm going back to these people. Maybe give people... Maybe you need to cut trees and saw timber before they're able to actually build, dude. I don't know. I got people sawing lumber. I give them another knife. You don't have anyone doing cutting down trees. Not a few people unless they all decide to stop and be lazy assholes. La I just looked and they're all, there's no one on those two jobs. Give us thunder arrows and we help. Well, wow. cool. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. You're gonna give them guns. 
4,000 of these fuckers, damn right, I'm making them friends. <laughs> I don't want 4,000 angry natives coming down on my little colony of 100 people, do you? Their decks on my man. How am I doing? Yeah, and he gives you your, your game score. <laughs> the native the natives know your game score apparently. This dude threatens you. You go ask him, how am I doing? And he gives you... <laughs> My fucking game score. I have 80-something of a thousand. This is immediately after he basically told you to get the fuck out. Yeah. Why are you fuckers cutting trees? Cut trees. Saw timber. Fuckers. Why is no one guarding the town? You do that. You do that. You... You don't have colonists. You have a pack of retards. <laughs> Finally, the common house is completed. You can store goods there and hold your meetings under a roof. Also, it's a great place to go in case of an attack, so you can defend a common area. Fucking retards. Now we're going to build the stockade. Put another nurse on the six. More timber sawing. More, more that. More that. More that. Might want to get someone to fish. I, I, I just did that. Farm. Farm. We can sell farm goods. Sell timber. Get with the program, people. No, <laughs> I'm finally free of the English tyranny. I refuse to do anything. I'm going to sit here on my ass all day. Pretty much. Indian messenger arrives. Indians warn you to get the fuck out or we're gonna send a thousand fire sticks into your brain. Hmm. The little tiny people wish to have war with me. Response 1. The colony should exhibit tolerance and patience for the face of this threat. Carrying basket will be filled with food and three knives. A sign of the pilgrim's goodwill and friendship. Offering of peace. I say you offer peace. Yeah. You're in no position to, uh... Fuck, you know what? Most people want muskets. I'm gonna make friends with the really big tribe that fucking bullies them. Peace with them. I'm gonna go make peace with these people some more. I gotta go run up to the store. I'll be back later. Maybe you'll still be playing then. Yeah, probably not.
I lost the game. <laughs> Everyone dead. <laughs> All right then. Well, the game decided I didn't do what I did and had the Indians attack me. Okay, cool. Well, that was that. Um. Fuck it. <laughs> that's, that's one that's not getting... Those are two games that are probably not getting back on the stream again. I hope you enjoyed them anyway. <laughs> I... Oh, God, that was a pain. Alright. Enjoy, everybody.